Josephine and Kristen, uh, just before the newscast, Portland Public Schools, no school for the kids tomorrow. Yeah, you know, it's going to be one of those situations where things look okay in the morning and then come lunchtime and especially early in the afternoon, you're glad you're staying put and not on the roads because that's when we're going to see uh, the thick of things, especially for northern portions of the Willamette Valley and for the metro area. 34 right now, gusting to near 40, feels like it's 21, and many areas already down below freezing and temperatures, of course, will continue to drop as we go through the night. Uh, the system is still getting itself together. It is down south. It's got a lot of moisture with it. It's going to continue to move north into the Portland metro area as we go through the rest of the night. And again, it starts to arrive in the South Valley a little earlier than what we'll see here uh, in the Portland metro area. But we will start to see some of the impacts uh, down towards Eugene by around 7 a.m., likely starting off as snow and then quickly transitioning over to freezing rain by late morning. As we get towards 10 a.m., we'll start to see the first little bits of snow trying to develop here in the Portland metro area. But really, we'll start to see things get going around noon. This is at 1230 out there right now. And, of course, you can see snow developing as you head west of Portland, back towards Forest Grove and getting into the coast range there. And then back through the gorge as well. East winds from time to time may try to dry things out a little bit in Portland. But we're going to continue to have moisture. And between about 1 and 3 o'clock, uh, we'll continue to have snow with that transitioning starting to happen uh, to freezing rain. So it'll be a situation where we can see a little bit of accumulation of snow and then get that glaze of ice on top. Uh, 3 p.m. showers continuing and again we're looking at that wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain. 5 p.m. we are still in it. Snow coming down through the gorge and likely still seeing icy conditions in the Portland metro area uh, with either sleet or freezing rain coming down still at this point. We go into the evening hours and we continue to see warmer air trying to push in and hopefully by then we're starting to clear out some of that freezing rain. But there's a possibility uh, with those east winds still cranking through the gorge that we'll have temperatures at the surface near freezing and we still may have icy conditions on the roads uh, though we do start to see some of the shower activity die down. Meanwhile, on the gorge, it is snowing hard still, and this is where we're really going to see those snow totals go up. Fast forward to Friday morning, and the valley is warmed up. We've cleared that cold air out, and things are looking much nicer. Chilly, damp conditions. But the cold air is just tough to get out of the gorge, and so places like Hood River and as you head east, still dealing with that snow as we go through the day on Friday. So here's a look at the latest impacts and timing for the Portland metro area. Late morning, snow slowly starts to develop. Winds persist, gusting to 40 miles an hour higher as you head east through Portland towards the gorge. By about noon, things are really starting to get going. This is prime time for us into the afternoon. We're looking at one to three inches of snow. Places like Wine Country out towards Forest Grove, we see a little bit more, uh, but we will be transitioning over to freezing rain and we can see a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of ice on top of that snow and that's uh, where things get really treacherous on the roads. By evening we're trying to transition back to cold rain but it could be slow to happen and so we can see icy conditions sticking around through much of the evening if not into the early part of the night. For the gorge again late morning windy snows developing into the afternoon and evening snow continues. We're talking six to ten inches if not more snow for Hood River and as you head east and again that kind of weather sticking around through Friday there. For the valley south of Wilsonville, morning 7 a.m. to early afternoon, we'll have snow and sleet to freezing rain. We're going to be watching ice accumulations here uh, pretty closely. You don't have the gorge wind to keep the snow around. It quickly changes over to the ice and the freezing rain here. Noon to afternoon, we're trying to get transition to that cold rain, likely by afternoon. And then we're staying above freezing with showers tapering through the evening. And then the other areas, Central Oregon, back towards the coast and Eastern Oregon. Uh, Central Oregon, one to four inches of snow to freezing rain. We can see ice there and for the coast. Uh, snow, ice early, not much accumulation there. Coast range will see more, obviously, in Eastern Oregon. You can see significant snow as well. So your Thursday forecast, cold, windy, snow and ice. Going into Friday, we're getting out of it. The weekend, we're getting out of it. And don't even want to get into it now, but next Tuesday, Wednesday, we could be looking at yet another winter system moving in to bring in more snow chances. We'll talk more about that later, yeah. but we got to get through tomorrow well, first. Say, <laughs> let's get through tomorrow first. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Well, still ahead, Stan's going to join